Hey there, thanks for clicking on the Akron News Now update on a Monday. I'm Lindsay McCoy. The Derby races in Akron stay alive. And we have more snow on the way. Yeah, you heard me right. Get your sh snow shovels ready again. We'll have a rundown of our Akron area forecast, and we will be under a winter storm watch starting Tuesday. But first, authorities believe that they've arrested the man responsible for a slew of robberies in northeastern Ohio throughout the last few weeks. The Canton Repository reports 36 year old Timothy Miller was arrested on Thursday shortly after he. He allegedly robbed a Chase Bank on East Market Street in Akron. As of right now, Miller of Canton only faces one federal bank robbery charge. This as authorities continue to connect him to other robberies in the area. He's suspected of hitting up banks in Stowe, Worcester, Kent, Hartville, Maslin, and New Philadelphia. Local officials have to come up with a way to keep the financially strapped Soapbox Derby running in Akron, and it seems like they found a solution. An agreement includes a new 15-year loan agreement between First Merit Bank and the Derby. And the city of Akron will be guaranteeing the debt when there's still no national sponsor. As well as the organization will reorganize the International Derby Board of Directors. It will include some Akron business community leaders. Back in 2009, the Derby cut $400,000 in operating expenses, but they still showed a loss. The agreement goes to council this evening for approval. Open enrollment is taking a smaller number of students from the Akron Public Schools. Akron News Now's Chris Kepler explains. 1,287 students left Akron for other districts. That's down at least 100 kids from last year. And spokeswoman Karen Ingram says while they don't know exactly why more students are staying in Akron, she wants to think it's because of expanded programs, rising test scores, and top-notch facilities. And last week was the deadline to apply for open enrollment into Akron for next school year. Chris Kepler. Akron News Now. While many of us worked outside to dig ourselves out of the snow over the weekend, looks like the residents of the Akron Zoo enjoyed the snowfall. It brought them an opportunity to enjoy the cold weather. On Saturday, the snow leopard jumped around and played in the snow, and a river otter and penguins, of course, had a good time. And look at the bald eagle observing the new snow-covered cage he stays in. Well, temperatures are cold outside, so we need to stay bundled up. We don't have those fur coats like the zoo animals. Another winter blast is on the way coming on Tuesday, so a winter storm watch will be in effect Tuesday. And then depending on upon where you live, one to three inches of snow could be expected. Now, the Weather Channel meteorologists say that this is another El Nino storm. Today, we have a high of 27 degrees, mostly sunny skies, a low of 13, Tuesday a high of 30 degrees, and that's when the chance of snow starts. 20 for Wednesday and into the 20s for the weekend as well. Continue to follow AkronNewsNow.com for the latest local news for news online on demand now. And don't forget that you can also follow our news updates on Twitter and Facebook too. For Akron News Now, I'm Lindsay McCoy.